What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I am bringing you guys another one of the new DLC cards for GTA 5. Now this is the Alpha, and it sort of resembles, it actually, the, the biggest thing to me that it resembles is the Cadillac El Mirage concept. Has a little bit of Mercedes SLC concept in it, but to me this mostly resembles the, um, the, oh gosh, what did I say, the Cadillac El Mirage concept uh, that I said earlier. Now we're going to customize this car, and due to the fact that I had to use... Um, this particular save game from single player, um, the only thing that I, well, the only thing that I don't really have access to is the stage 4 engine pack. I have up to stage 3 and I got the turbo and everything. I just can't put a stage 4 in it just because of, um, just because this particular save game, um, was kind of old. And, um, it doesn't really matter all that much. I mean, stage 3, stage 4, I mean, yeah, stage 4 you get a little more, but it doesn't make that much of a difference, especially if you just want to get... If you just want to get a baseline about the car, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So we're going to go ahead and customize it and just kind of see what we can do with it. Now, the I'm not sure what we're going to get as far as body parts and aero parts, but I definitely can tell you that we're going to do some uh, we're definitely going to do some stuff with wheels, um, new paint job. It's going to be pretty sweet. Now, we're going to forget about the armor, leave that alone. Uh, brakes we might do. Now, bumpers, all you can do is put a custom front splitter on it and that does kind of look kind of cool. Um it doesn't really, I don't know, I don't know if it suits the car, I'm gonna put it on, I don't know if it suits the car, like, as far as it, I don't know, um, just the way, at least in the way that I see this car being used, but it's definitely a cool upgrade. Now, uh, the stock exhaust actually looks really nice, the stock exhaust looks nice, it looks way better than these dual shotgun exhausts, now, the twin ellipse exhausts, though, look, the, those exhausts look really, really sweet, in my opinion. Now, as far as the hood, I've never customized this thing before, so I'm seeing this stuff for the very first time. Um, twin stripes or the triple vents. The triple vents are interesting, and as far as the stripes go, I would use them if they went across the whole car, but just on the hood, eh, I'm not a fan. Um, the hood vents, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually thinking about, I'm just going to kind of leave the hood. I don't, I don't know if I like the triple hood vents, to be quite honest. Now, as far as the lights go, just definitely going to put xenons on right away. And for the plate, mm, a little yellow and black. Uh, the, let's do, let's actually, I was thinking about doing the respray now, but let's actually do all the body stuff before we do that. Now the skirts, um, okay, so not bad, it just kind of follows the same kind of lines as the front splitter, so it's kind of a ground effects kit, more or less. For the spoiler, now, I'm not too sure what that GT, GT wing is going to look like, we'll have to see. Low level spoiler, oh, that's not bad, that's not bad at all, okay. The rear of this car actually, it's funny because the front is very similar, like I said, to that El Mirage, that Cadillac El Mirage. The back end is is very Bentley Continental, especially with that spoiler on it. A little bit bigger, a high level spoiler, and then the GT wing. The GT wing is actually not that big. I'm kind of surprised that the GT wing wasn't bigger. Um, I'm going to actually go with the... I kind of want to go wingless with this car, but... You know what? I am actually going to go wingless with this car, but I f because I feel like none of those wings really suit the the style of this car. At least to me, they don't look they don't look like exactly the way I would have. Like they, they don't look they don't look like they bring out anything um, or bring out that much in the car. Sometimes a wing will really accent a car and make it look really really cool. Other wings just kind of look slapped on, and, and in this car they kind of look slapped on. Get a race transmission in there, max out the acceleration, a uh, full turbo tuning. Now we get to, let's actually finish the windows first, dark smoke. I don't know why I don't have limo in this save. This save is weird. Um, the wheels, now this is where it gets fun because I'm wanting something with a little bit of concave to it. Um, not too much, but we'll have to see. Those look pretty, that, those look pretty nice. I'm not going to lie, those look sweet. Mmm, oh, those do as well. You know what, I'm really, really liking... Let's see where are they I'm really really liking these but these look really sweet too I'm actually gonna go with I'm gonna go with these I think these look legit then for the color I'm thinking we might just do them in black or carbon black but I'm not sure let me just look through the rest real quick the red actually looks pretty sweet I'm not gonna lie the red actually looks pretty sweet so does the frost white in fact you know what I'm gonna go with frost white because that's actually a kind of a different looking color that not a lot of people use and definitely custom tires bulletproof tires not really gonna put any other uh, any other smoke on it just because of the fact that 
I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the colored tire smoke in GTA. I think it just kind of looks odd, um, compared to the regular tire smoke. Now, let's go ahead and do the color, not the plate, um, the car color, because I know that that's what I've been trying to get to this whole time, because I really wanted to get everything else done first before I went to do, uh, the actual color for the car. Now, I'm thinking we might do an actual, um, we might do a metallic color for this car. As long as it, as long as it fits along the same lines as what I've already got planned out for the car, then we'll go with one of the metallic paint jobs. If not, then we probably, we'll probably end up going with something else. The wine red looks kind of cool. I'm not sure if it fits with those wheels, though. This is one of those cars where you have to find a color that really works. And you know what? This gold actually looks really nice. Really nice. I'm not gonna lie about that. That looks really nice. So is the bright orange. I like that bright orange a lot. That looks sweet. I'm just gonna look through the rest of the colors, though, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But seriously... The ultra blue looks nice, too. The racing blue, the ultra blue, they both look really nice. I'm thinking I'm either going to go with one of those or with the, um... Whoa, ice white. Whoa, oh, that looks nice. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. I think ice white has actually won me over from the other two. That looks awesome. Definitely going to go try this thing out. This thing, look, this thing looks awesome to me. Definitely can't wait to try this thing out and see how much it spins up those rear tires. Because I'm thinking it's going to be a sideways machine with the engine upgrades and the turbo. Oh yeah, it likes to spin them up all over the place. You want something that can do donuts all over the place? No problems here. Absolutely no problem. What's oh geez. Yeah, traffic. Traffic. Let's see if we can find a spot to just... Oh, go away, Steve. Let's see if we can find a spot to get... Um, where we can just start messing around with it sideways. Now, it's nowhere near as grippy as the uh, the Jester that I tested last time, the NSX concept. And, I mean, that, that was, you know, that was meant to be grippy. This is not meant to be grippy. This is, this is meant to be something totally different. I just want a spot where I can mess around with some skids without worrying about anything. I mean, we could do little skids right here in the street, but I need to find a parking lot or something. And the handling isn't bad. It is. It definitely isn't bad. Um, it, even though, like I said, it's not on the same level as something that's super, super grippy. Um, but it's definitely not bad. It's not boat-like or anything like that. It's not. Um, it's not like wobbling all over the place. It's just not super, super precise. And that's that's okay. Work for a car like this. That's totally okay because this car is way more about. This car is way more about. Um, the, the, the power and the looks and the style rather than, um, rather than just having the utmost grip at all times. And I like that. I like the fact that it can be, it doesn't have to be, you know, 110% about grip the whole time. Because a lot of, a lot of people, I th feel like they get obsessed with that and then they let that just kind of dominate, um, their opinion on a car. And when you go into, when you, when you have this car, you, when you actually go in to try it for the first time... You kind of have to go in knowing that it's, you know, you got to go in knowing that it's not going to be the fastest in a straight line, and it's not going to be the grippiest around a corner, but it's going to be fun. And I don't know why the, um, why that icon up on the top right is saying I have negative $650 just endlessly. Um, it should have just, I don't know, it, it should have just gone away a while ago. There we go, getting a nice slide. This is where I wanted to go. Oh, yeah. Well, that definitely works. You definitely get some nice... Just initiate with the E-brake, get some nice power oversteer. Look out. <laughs> Look out. But yeah, this is what this car is for. And I don't mean specifically this parking lot, but this is what it's for. Messing around. And it's fun with... For, it's fun to mess around with this car. Especially when the turbo comes in. When the turbo comes in, it gets the rear tires spinning like crazy. the tailing out just a little bit not bad oh I was gonna say I initiated that a little bit late but I guess not because I ended up pulling it all the way around I'm gonna actually try and make a little bit of a loop like go through the tunnel go to the right and then kind of try and make a little bit of a loop just going back around just to see 
If I can get... Oh, wow, I missed the corner. Seriously? I just want to see if I can get a couple of nice slides. Doesn't have to be a crazy drift run or anything. I just want to get a couple of nice slides in this car. Whoa, that was close. That was so close. Whoo! Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was not paying attention whatsoever. I was looking at my computer screen. Nice little slidey lap around the uh, around the parking lot. There we go. Keep it sideways. Not bad. This car is definitely not one of the cars that will um that will fight you as far as like as far as when you try to take it. No, Steve, I do not want to talk to you. Um, this is one of those cars in GTA that will not fight with you um, when you're trying to take it sideways, which is nice because a lot of the cars in GTA will um, fight with you. And, yeah, he didn't give me the inside, which I would have needed in order to pull that off. Oh, jeez. I've gone wide. That's the only problem with this thing. It will understeer occasionally. But when it gets sideways, it gets sideways. It'll slide. It really will. And it's, it's entertaining. It's really nice, really entertaining, and a really fun car. A really, really fun car um, to drive, to slide around in. And I think it's definitely going to be... Um, a pretty popular car online. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.